Just like previous installations of OSB, we need to leave a half inch gap. Flip the OSB over and line up what's going to be the bottom edge with the half inch marks we just made. Mark where this board overlaps with the installed panels. Now we're going to make a line with those marks and cut the panel. Last thing to do is cut the width so the OSB is installed in the middle of a stud. To figure out the rest of the panels, all you have to do is measure the tallest part of the angled cut. Now we can use the unused part of that first cut as an angle guide for the rest of our cuts. Now that one side's done, we just need to repeat it for the other side. So this is where I start going a little overboard. <laughs> I want to do rigid insulation on the exterior of the walls. So if you're still on board, before we can do that, the doors and windows need a bump out so the foam is flush with them. So just as a side note, I plan on doing a stucco exterior. We get so little rain here in Las Vegas that I can get away with just doing the two layers of tar paper that act as a weather resistant barrier that you use for stucco. This is fine for my area, but if you get more rain than a desert, you might want to install some house wrap under your exterior foam insulation. You want to do that before bumping out the door and windows. If you want to see some tips on how to do that house wrap install, there will be a link for that in the article in the description. Doing the windows is a little bit different from the door. With the bottom board we're going to angle it a little bit just in case some water gets in it's got a way to get out. To do this, we'll trim down one side by one eighth of an inch. For the window area installs, I'm using a level since we'll be installing the windows on the bumped out areas. I'm using a Japanese hand plane to create my angled bottom, but you can do the same thing with a circular saw or table saw with the blade set at a slight angle. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. Barda's Adopt-A-Shop Helper segment's next. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you get content from us. There's some social media links in the description if you want to see what's going on behind the scenes. Get out there, make something, and we'll see you next time.